Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight and I want to show you the 14 best charm combinations in the game. And I didn't find this one on my own. This is another article that I found online and it's actually part of a Steam community. So this right here is the article and I will leave a link down in the description below. If you want to skip this video and just read about it all yourself, you are more than welcome to. And otherwise, we are going to jump right in. The very first charm setup that we're going to be taking a look at is the Paladin build. And this is going to be the Quick Slash, the Mark of Pride, the Quick Focus, and also the Soul Catcher. And what this one is going to do is it's just kind of an all around nail build and it allows you to hit enemies from far away, allows you to replenish your soul fairly quickly with that soul catcher. And then also it allows you to heal very, very quickly. So you're kind of always dealing damage, but then also healing whenever you take the damage. And this is going to be really helpful for bosses. And also the Colosseum of Fools is a really good spot for this build. It's yeah, it's just your, your general damage build and being able to heal helps out a ton. Uh, one variation to this you can do is get rid of the quick focus and add on the unbreakable strength and this is more so if you feel like you can do more damage and also get away with uh, needing to heal less. If, if you find that you're not healing a whole lot during the boss fights or you just have a bunch of masks or whatever the, the case may be, uh, maybe you're just way more of an offensive player, then yeah, try something like this out. The second build is called the Samurai build and it's kind of a variation of the first one because we're still using Quick Slash, we're still going to use Mark of Pride and what we're going to be changing up is from the beginning we're going to use the Unbreakable Strength and we're also going to use the Heavy Blow. What Heavy Blow is going to do is increase the force of the bearer's nail causing enemies to recoil further when hit. So this is an extremely nail centric build, it allows you to hit enemies from far away but it's also just going to keep enemies further further away from you and that's just going to make things just a lot easier when you need space and again that's going to be helpful with the Colosseum of Fool. Um, I personally didn't really get used to using the heavy blow charm hardly at all. Um, so I don't know let me know what you think about that one. The third charm setup is called Ronin and this is essentially just a face tank build. So we're going to go with Joni's Blessing, we're going to go with Quick Slash, we're going to go with the unbreakable strength and last but not least the steady body and the steady body makes it so you don't actually recoil when you hit an enemy with your nail so you're not able to heal at all and you're just gonna be face tanking enemies so if you have this many masks you might actually be able to take down the second hornet fight or any other boss that's like not moving too quickly uh brooding malek something like that where you can just attack 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 over and over without them knocking you back and you should be able to take them down before they take you down you may need to upgrade to the pure nail just to be able to do enough damage to make this whole thing work but if you're also using your spells with this which you should be you should be able to do enough damage to take down most bosses the next charm build is called Holy Light, and essentially it's a Grubfly Elegy uh, charm build, and we're going to mix this with the Unbreakable Strength, we're going to mix it with the Quick Slash, and also with Steady Body. If you have a full charm loadout, you do have one more charm to use for whatever you want. Um, yeah, kind of what, whatever you're feeling. Probably the most OP charm Wayward Compass, because obviously that makes everything better. And so what this is going to do is obviously it makes it so you launch out these these beams of light. But as soon as you take one damage, you're not able to shoot these beams anymore. So just be aware of that. This next charm setup is called the Warlock build. And essentially what we're going to be doing is going with the Sprint Master, the Grubfly Elegy. We're going to be going with Weaver Song and the Dream Wielder and the Dream Shield. And last but not least, also adding on the Grub Song. And so this is a build where you wanna play as defensively as possible. You're just trying to stay away from everything as much as you can. It's really just trying to, to, to play super defensively and not let anybody near you. Uh, the Weavers are actually gonna make it so you can increase your, your soul. If you didn't know, when you use your Weaver and you mix it with the Grub Song, this is gonna make it so in that way the Weavers are actually collecting soul for you. So if we use some of our spells, and we find ourselves another enemy here. There we go. Weavers attack. Look at that. 
And so with the Sprint Master on, this is actually going to make it so our Weavers move a heck of a lot faster. The Dream Wielder makes it so the Dream Shield's a heck of a lot bigger. So just everything is built for just making you just... Uh, just attack from far away so you can use your spells quickly um, because your weavers are constantly just grabbing you more and more soul this is just a really fun build and I know that a lot of you are really really into your dream shield and uh, I don't know this might be something you guys like to try out so the sixth charm loadout that we're looking at is the battle mage and this is one that I did a video on earlier as my favorite spell charms and it's just kind of all of them all mixed together so we're going to be doing the soul catcher uh, the shaman stone uh, the soul eater and of course the spell twister and with all of these put together between the soul catcher and the soul eater you are going to be getting so much soul so much soul from every single hit it is absolutely ridiculous you're going to be doing so many spells especially with the spell twister attached making it just cost less for each spell that you do this is actually a really really fun build so check this out if we use up some of our spells just like that boom just like that we're like getting so much soul from each and every hit it is it's good it's real good the next charm loadout is called the Sorcerer, and it's kind of a variation on what we have right here. And we're going to be going with the Sprint Master mixed with the Weaver Song. And I feel like every time you use a Weaver Song, you're using the Sprint Master just because it makes it so much faster for your Weaver Song. And your Weaverlings are just going to be picking up soul for you. So in order to have them pick up soul, you need the Grub Song. And if we use the Spell Twister and the Shaman Stone, these put together is just going to make it like really, really nice for you because you're just going to be getting soul and just dealing damage as quickly as possible. And with your last two, if you really want to, you can throw on Soul Catcher. This is going to be another really fun build and you kind of use a little bit of minions and a lot of the spells. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that I think these are, are fun builds and I'm going to have to I'm going to have to try out some of these a little bit more. The next charm combo is called the Priest, and what we're going to do here is we're going to mix the Quick Focus with Shape of Un, and this is going to make it so when you go to heal, you're going to move very, very quickly, and this is essentially going to be a very defensive build, because we're going to also add on the Bladder Shell, Balder Shell, let's call it that one, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know how to say these things, it's, it's hard for me to pronounce, okay, just relax. Anyway, so we mix this and all of these mix together very, very well because the Shape of Un will work very well with both of these charms right here um, because you can actually move around kind of like a snail while you're using this defensive shell. Next, what we're going to do is add on the Stalwart Shell and we are also going to add on Grub Song. So this is just a super defensive build and it just makes it so in that way uh, you don't take a whole lot of hits, especially while you're healing and you're healing pretty quickly and this this shell is going to make it so that way you can recover from damage quicker and this actually stacks with the shell as well um i'm not entirely sure why they're throwing the grub song on here but i guess it is if you do end up taking damage you will actually get enough uh soul to be able to heal and the way that this works when you put it all together you're moving around real quickly check that out so if you didn't check out my secret charm build combinations video um, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below for that as well just so that we can see how some of these charms are actually working together this next one they like to call lifeblood galore and as you can imagine we're just throwing on the lifeblood heart the lifeblood core Joni's blessing and last but not least we are gonna throw on this charm here the unbreakable heart and with all of these charms together look at how many masks we have if I remember right I'm pretty sure that's 22 masks that's a heck of a lot of masks like ooh, if you die with this many masks I, I, I think you kind of deserve it. I'm just saying, you should be able to beat any boss with this many masks. The next charm build is going to be called the Ninja. And as you can imagine, it's everything fast and uh, stink bombs as well. So we're going to go with the Sprint Master, the Dash Master, the Quick Focus. Uh, let's see, we're going to go with the Thorns of Agony and the Spore Shroom. We'll throw on the Defender's Crest as well to make the Spore Shroom a little bit bigger. And last but not least, every ninja is going to have Sharp Shadow because this is what's going to allow them to dash through the enemies and deal damage. Um, I don't know, this seems like it might be pretty fun actually because whenever you go to heal, 
boom, you got this huge cloud of, of dust, of spore, nasty, smelly stuff that's just going to deal damage to your enemies and gives you a chance to just get away, you know? It would be kind of cool if uh, it actually stunned your enemies whenever you did the, the cloud spore shroom and kind of choked them out a little bit instead of just doing the little ticks of damage. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take that extra little bit of damage. The next charm combination is called Toxic Thorns. And so obviously we're going to do Thorns of Agony. We're going to do the Spore Shroom. We're going to do the Quick Focus. And this is going to make it so that way we can heal faster and more often just so that way we're getting those clouds up as quickly as possible. We're going to throw on Grub Song and that's going to make it so whenever we do take damage, we're going to be able to get a little bit of soul that we can convert into health, right? And last but not least, we are going to throw on this one right here, the Stalwart Shell. And this is going to make it so that way if we do take damage multiple times in a row, it's going to make it so that way we, we don't take damage super quickly. We don't want to take damage too fast, um, especially when we're trying to heal and, and do things, right? Uh, we want to make sure that the Thorns of Agony triggers every single time and that we're getting back to our Spore Shroom as quickly as possible so you can throw on some other things with this uh if anything if nothing else why not throw on defender's crest to just make it bigger and deal a little bit more damage and uh yeah what would you do to this uh combination what would you do with those last two uh charm notches right there hmm? what do you think the next charm setup is called Parismatic Focus, and what we're going to do is the Grub Song with Grubfly's Elegy, and then also the two ones right here, Quick Focus and Deep Focus. And so this is going to make it so that way you can get to full health as quickly as possible, always trying to have that Grubfly's Elegy just equipped in so you're 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 just dealing that damage right you just kind of always want this up as quickly as possible you just want to be able to heal and get that up what is really awesome about this build is that taking damage actually gives you more soul than you need for a single focus so let me show you so let's say we do take a single hit of damage we're not quite able to heal but if we take a second hit look at that we are able to heal back up to full health as needed come on just leave me alone get our heal and then there we go. We can start using these again. All right. All right. I, I see where they're going with this one. The 13th strongest charm combination in the game. I honestly don't think it deserves to be on this list just because it's just regular secret charm combinations all working together. And that is just simply the shell, the spore shroom, and the quick focus. And there we go. With the quick focus, I mean... Yeah, you get the, the spore shroom up quickly, but I don't know. If, if you're doing like a strong combination build, why wouldn't you also throw on Defender's Crest or the uh, Thorns of Agony and I don't know, just some just some other stuff. Um, if Because if you didn't know this, whenever you use your Thorns of Agony, that actually gets triggered whenever the shell gets hit. So it would make sense to add on some of these other ones. I don't know. It seems silly that it's just these three charms made it onto the list. Last but not least, we have the ultimate summoner build. I would also call this just a minion build in general. So we're going to do the Weaver Song. And every time you do the Weaver Song, you also want to go with the Sprint Master. Just makes your Weavers that much faster. I'm going with the Grim Child. And hopefully you got it fully upgraded. We're then going to go with the Grub Song. So that way if you do take damage, you're actually being able to replenish your minions. Um, of course, we're going to go with the Glowing Womb. And we're going to go with the Defender's Crest. So this does leave a little bit of room extra. They have added on the Spore Shroom because the Spore Shroom is going to mix very, very well with your Defender's Crest, just like how the Defender's Crest is going to mix with Glowing Womb and make it so your Glowing Womb things are, like, explosive and they're a little bit different. So, yeah, kind of cool. You just have, like, all these minions just doing your bidding for you, and they all do quite a bit of damage. So let's go ahead and uh, build a couple of these up, and I'll show you just real quick. So let's see this build in action right here. I can just kind of run away. Let's see. I want to see the Grim do his work. All right, all right. Get the tick tick. So, and once you have the Grim child leveled up, he's actually going to make it so that way. Uh, I think he does a full nail, maybe a nail and a half. All right, I took a. Ooh, I took a lot of damage there. Minions, come on. There you go. There you go.
So just like that, that was all 14 different best charm combinations, strongest charm combinations in the game, as it is stated by the Steam community post. Granted, this thing is like two years old. It's been around for a little while, but I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below so you guys can check it out if you'd like. If you want to see the best secret charm combinations in the game it actually came from the same post go ahead and check out the video over on the top left so thank you guys so much for stopping by my name is Aurelia and I hope to talk to you again more soon